Hello friends, hope you are all doing fine. Welcome back to Sabir Cat. The topic of this video is based on a query asked by one of my subscriber. The query goes like this. Hi, I would like to know how to add groups of commands to be placed in the tool palettes. Can you help me with that sir? Thank you. Tool Palettes in AutoCAD is an interface in which you can add tools such as drawing objects, blocks, hatch fills, tables, etc. I'll illustrate this with an example. You can access the Tool Palettes by clicking on the View menu and you can just click on the Tool Palettes command in the Palettes panel or else you can give the Tool Palettes command. But the easiest method to access this palette is by pressing the control key and the three key simultaneously. Now I am going to create a new palette. So I will keep my cursor over here, right click, then new palettes. Then I will give a name, you can give any name, I will give my palette. I will first keep a number of commands here. So I will start with the line command. This is start point and the end point. Then I will select this line. Press Ctrl C to copy, then I'll activate the tool palettes, then I'll press Ctrl V to paste it. Similarly, I'll draw a circle with center radius method, Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it on the tool palettes. And this will enable you to access these commands easily. Suppose if you want to draw a line, you can just click on the line tool in the tool palettes, pick the start and end points and create it on the screen. This is exactly the same as creating a line using the line command in the draw panel. So what additional advantage do you get when you use tool palettes for this purpose? Let's see that. Now I am going to create a polyline tool in the tool palettes and I will be using the same polyline to create my wall lines in all my future drawings. So I will click on the polyline command and I will pick my start point here and end point here. Next, I'll go to Layer Properties Manager. Then I'll create a new layer called Walls. Then I'll give this particular layer the cyan color. I'll close this interface. Then I'll select this polyline and I'll keep it in the wall layer. I'll again select this polyline, then press Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it on the tool palettes. Now I am going to rename this polyline as walls. So I will just select right click and rename. Even if this tool is a polyline, I will be using this polyline to create my wall lines. So let me just open a new drawing. Even if you open a new drawing, the tool palette will always remain there in the existing location. This is a blank file. So when you click on the layer pop-up, you can see that there is only the default zero layer. Now I'll click exactly on the walls tool which is nothing but a polyline then I'll pick a number of points after turning the ortho mode on and I'll create a number of polyline segments. Each of these lines are going to be used to create the wall layout. So you can just press F11 function key to activate the tracking. Then I'll track these two points then I'll right click and close. Next I'll give offset command. Then I'll pick two points to specify the offset distance, select object offset and site offset. This is a wall line. By creating the wall line using this method, you have directly accessed the polyline command and uh, when you look at the layer pop-up, you can see that the wall layer is also automatically created. This will help you save time and effort. This is how you group commands in tool palettes. Now I am going to add a custom title to these commands. So right click and click on add text and I am going to call it as my favorite commands. Now I will just drag it and keep it right on top of these commands. Now I am going to add blocks to this tool palettes. I have already created this particular block of a chair. If you want to know the procedure to create a block, 
please click on the corresponding video in my channel. I have already provided links at the upper right corner as well as at the comment box of this video. Now this block is already created. I'll select this object, Control C and Control V to paste it over here. So when you try this, AutoCAD will tell you that your drawing is not saved, so I should save my drawing. So I'll just click on Save As and I'll keep my drawing on the desktop. I'll call it as Test 1. Now I'll repeat the procedure, Control C and Control V. Now it is pasted over here and this block is called Sofa 1. Next I'll paste it once again and I'll make a Sofa 2 from the Sofa 1. Let's see the procedure. I'll right click and I'll rename as Sofa 2. Then I'll right click, go to properties. Then you can change the rotation angle as 180. Now while insert Sofa 1, you can see that it'll get inserted in this orientation. And when I try to insert Sofa 2, it'll get inserted in the rotated orientation. Now I'm going to add another title to this. I'll add a new text and I'll call it as Furnitures. And I'll keep it over here. Next I'll create a hatch fill in this area. For that, I'll type the letter H for hatching. I'll pick a point over here and this area is identified. And I'll change the scale to 1.95. Next, I'll change the hatch color to a red. Then I'll also provide a background color, which is this particular color. And I'll close the hatch creation ribbon. And next, I'll create a layer. And I'll call it as, say, brick. Then I'll click on the hatch pattern, then properties, and I'll change the layer to brick and close the hatch editor. Now I'll open a new drawing. I'll create a rectangle and I would like to perform a hatch fill within this area. So I'll click on the brick and just click a point inside. Now you can see that this particular brick pattern is applied to this area with the given properties and parameters. Now I'll add a separator between the furniture and the brick pattern. So right click and click on add separator and I'll drag the separator to this location just to differentiate between these two set of tools in the tool palettes. If you want to know more details related with the tool palettes, please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the comment box down below. Hope this video was useful and you really enjoyed watching it. Please do subscribe to my channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the like button if you liked it. I'm happy to inform you that I've started a WhatsApp group called SabirCAD to keep better interaction with my subscribers. You can join this group using the link provided at the comment box. That's all for now. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting topic. Bye bye and take care. May God bless you all.